Phoenix 6 Sapphire, Phoenix 6 Pro. Can you tell the difference? That's in the shot. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Dave Dillon with ChaseTheSummit.com. In this video, I just wanted to answer some questions that were asked in the comments section of my last video where I reviewed the Garmin Phoenix 6 against the Garmin 4Runner 945. A lot of you had some great questions and I just wanted to answer a few of them in this video. I think the most frequently asked question was the difference between Sapphire and Gorilla Glass. But today, I have the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire here and I also have the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro which features Gorilla Glass instead of Sapphire. In this video, I just wanted to talk about the comparison between the two devices and really what's different about them. Before we get into this, make sure you subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a helpful video. Also, go over to chasethesummit.com and check out more content like this. And if you're at all interested in purchasing a Garmin Phoenix 6, please use the affiliate links down below. It costs you nothing and it definitely helps support my channel. I've got both devices here, so let's take a closer look. All right, so I've got the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro here and I've got the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire here. So the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro features a Gorilla Glass uh, DX display, which is basically what you have on your smartphone. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire features a Sapphire Crystal display, which is basically a synthetic gemstone that's created in a lab. So the only thing harder than a Sapphire display is actually a diamond. So. Uh, these displays are very durable. The only downside to Sapphire is it actually transmits less light and it's more reflective. So the visibility of the Sapphire display is a little bit dark and reflective. You can see here when I kind of move them around, the lighting in this room, the Phoenix 6 Pro is a lot easier to read at different angles. So this is the Phoenix 6 Sapphire in my right hand and the Phoenix 6 Pro in my left hand. I just wanted to bring these two outside so I could give you an idea of what these look like in direct sunlight. And in direct sunlight, they're, the visibility is about the same. It doesn't really matter how I move them around. The Sapphire doesn't really make a big difference out in direct sunlight, although the Gorilla Glass is definitely a little less reflective. Spoiler alert, I will not be trying to scratch these watches in this video. <laughs> I, uh, I pay for this stuff with my own money and uh, unfortunately I'm not rich enough from YouTube to uh, do that. From my experience though, the Sapphire is very durable and uh, the Gorilla Glass, while quite durable, is not, is not scratch proof. So I would suggest putting a screen protector on it and I'll show you what that looks like now. Right now I have a 37 millimeter tempered glass screen protector installed on this Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro. It's really hard to see unless you look very closely from the side. You can kind of see the lip there, but uh, it's very low profile. It's really, um, it's really not bad, uh, but it does add a little, a little cloudiness to the, uh, to the device. So if you compare that to the Phoenix 6 Sapphire, um, to me, they're, they're about the same uh, in visibility. Right now you can kind of see the reflection of my, my light uh, coming off the, the watches there. So with the tempered glass installed, uh, it's pretty similar. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna pull the screen protector off now and uh, we can take a look without it. One thing I did find interesting when comparing these two is when the backlight is on like it is right now, uh, the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro actually has like a bluish washed out tint to all of the black, whereas the Phoenix 6 Sapphire has a much crisper, higher contrast display. Uh, and this is only when the backlight's on. So I don't know if this is a variance in manufacturing, maybe they're using different LCDs from different vendors, um, but it's quite noticeable, especially when it gets darker out. So what you're looking at here is uh, the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro on the left and the Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire on the right. And these are both in my pitch black bathroom. And I just wanted to give you a look at what the differences in backlight color are. I thought this was kind of odd. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire, which you see on the right here, has much truer blacks and deeper blacks. And the Phoenix 6 Pro on the left here um, it has like a bluish hue to it that, and when you turn it at different angles, it actually changes the color of that hue. Um, it's pretty odd. I'll just open up one of the widgets here. This is a run widget. 
And you can see again, the Phoenix 6 Sapphire has much deeper blacks and, and the whites pop out a bit more. And the Phoenix 6 Pro has that bluish hue to it, which makes visibility a little weird. Totally functional. It doesn't affect how the device works at all, but to me, I, I prefer the, the deeper deeper blacks. So the guts of the Phoenix 6 Pro and the Phoenix 6 Sapphire are identical. Uh, whatever you can do with the Phoenix 6 Pro, you can do on the Phoenix 6 Sapphire and vice versa. And they both feature a stainless steel bezel and back, along with a heart rate sensor with a pulse ox, blood oxygen saturation. So they're basically the same exact watch. The only difference between these two devices is the material used for the glass, and also the coating used on the metal parts. The Garmin Phoenix 6 Sapphire features a DLC or diamond-like carbon coating. So what that means is it's a lot more durable than a standard coating. I don't have a lot of experience with this coating. I've had this watch for a little while now and it's still flawless, but time will tell how that holds up. Moving on to the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro, the Pro version comes with the standard black coating you've seen in the past. This is a PVD coating. This is used on a lot of watches in the market. It's very durable, uh, but it's still not quite as durable as the DLC coating on the Sapphire model. Like I said, I've managed to scratch other watches with this type of coating in the past, and uh, because it's black, the scratches are very noticeable. So the color between the two watches is slightly different. Uh, the DLC Sapphire version comes in a carbon gray, and the Pro comes in black. The carbon gray is a little bit lighter and I think that will also help with scratches. If this bezel does scratch a little bit, it may not be quite as noticeable as it would be on the black. The only difference is the type of glass used and the coating on the metal. Everything else inside there is identical. The guts are the same. You're gonna get the same exact performance from both watches. So you gotta ask yourself, is it worth it? A hundred bucks, you get the Sapphire, it's a little bit more durable, it's a little dimmer, a little harder to see. The Phoenix 6 Pro is a hundred dollars cheaper, but you may scratch the lens. Then again, you could just throw a screen protector on there for like five bucks and protect it. And I'm sure there'll be some people out there that just wanna pay up for the exclusivity of having the Sapphire model. I also like that the backlight is a little bit more contrasty and visible. Anyways, this is just a quick video to compare the two models, the types of glass used, and how that makes a difference in functionality. I hope this video helped out. I answered some of your questions. If it did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It really helps me out. It makes me feel good inside. And I'll see you in the next one.